Hey there. Hi there. Oh there. Hope everyone's as happy as can be. I have already prepped my desk. I was gonna say prepped my desk in preparation, but no. <laughs> Welcome to yet another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing uh, the September Zen Pop stationery box that's got items from Japan in it. They're usually adorable. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna grab a little uh, knife. And I thought we could just dig right in, find out what's inside, and hopefully find some inspiration for a cool illustration or some kind. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happens. First up, we have the uh, postcard. I don't know if they call it like a print or something, but it has the QR code on the back for the menu, which lists which lists all of the supplies that are inside of the box. So uh, we don't have to look that up if we just want to actually look. Wait, what? Oh, it's another collaboration box with the artist Tao or T-A-O, Japanese artist from Hawk. Kaido. <laughs> With a unique color palette, illustrating her idea of today's Japanese city life in futuristic atmosphere. Ooh! I bet we could take some inspo from that. Ooh, really liked that box. That was a good box. I did open that one. If those colors inspired you as well, maybe I'll link it. Wait, what? There's food in here! I know what these are. These are those uh, Japanese rice puffs. Corn puff. Corn puff. I don't think they've ever put food in here before. I can't read this. I'll look it up and see what flavor we're dealing with. I, it, it looks like it's um, evil scientist flavor would be my guess. Okay, not evil. Maybe goofy scientist. All right, I'm seeing a lot of pink and pastels. Love this. It kind of has like a crystal kind of because it's like a clear pink. But it's a 0.5 Pentel PG Metal 350. Pen names, I tell you. Oh, it's a mechanical pencil. I wasn't sure if it was a pen or a pencil, but that is definitely a pencil. Feels very sturdy. We'll have to sketch with that. 0.5 happens to be like my favorite uh, width of pencil lead. It doesn't say the hardness of the graphite. I bet it's fine. Great, fantastic. I don't know. Let me just get into the next thing in the box. I think this is a stamp. Can't read any of this, but there is a little diagram showing you pushing down and then a gets transferred onto the paper. Oh, has he got eyeballs? Oh, is it tape? Wait, it looks like there's like a little roll of tape. And so every time you squish it in, <gasps> yep, something's happening. Wait, there's a whole square of tape. Can you see it? It's really cool. Cause I love, this also came in its input box, but it's a <laughs> kind of the same thing, but on a roll. But that's cool. Cause I use this thing a lot. It's nice to have a backup. <laughs> This looks like a ruler, some kind of spinny dial on it for some reason. I'm gonna have to look up the menu because somehow everything in this box is bewildering me. Oh, okay, so you can do like angles. And there's like, you can see the angle. So this is a 90 degree angle. You can't really do an actual right angle though because there's a circle in the way. I cannot think of a time in my life that this would have ever been that handy, but it's cool. I gotta look at this, this is so cute. It's pretty pink and blue. Is this an eraser? Plastic eraser. Pull it out of here. Wonder if they fit together. Maybe that matches my nails. You like squish these too? <gasps> you can. Oh look, you can roll this and it's gonna always fit together. <gasps> cute, I love those colors. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, a micron in hunter green. Can't say I own one in this color. <gasps> 0.5, can't complain there, but it's green. Green's fine. Green's fine. Green's a color. I'm not sure why it's called a drawing pen, if that makes it any different. Like I use, oh, well, this isn't even a normal one, but like here's a Pigma graphic one. These are what I'm thinking of, Pigma microns. That's what I use the most of like for line art and stuff. Oh wait, this isn't even a Sakura. I don't know how you say it, Sakura? I think it's a different brand. You know what, I'm going to look that up and see. Let's snag that right there. Ooh, you wanna guess what the theme is? Chili study vibes. That makes me think of like lo-fi. Like <laughs> those background. They're like lo-fi music to study to. This is the Kokuyo drawing pen. So it is not the same brand that I usually use, but it sure looks like it. And it's in green, which is cool. Anyway, let's finish up inside this box though. <gasps> Look at this washi tape. I think it's breakfast. I love breakfast foods. Which is weird because I don't really like eating them at breakfast, but I love breakfast food. Like let your stomach wake up first. <gasps> I see toast. 
toast and coffee and eggs and rice. Oh, look at that. You can see all the foods. Still hasn't repeated yet. Wine. Oh, does it go from breakfast to dinner? Is it a whole day of food? I like that. I like the colors. I really like how detailed it is. Like you can make out all the little details in each of them. We have a little book. Ooh, a ring pop. This is fun. Little donuts. That is a fun design. Oh, and it's a little graph paper. It's a cute little notebook. Don't usually have too much need for these, but it's cute. What's this? It is definitely a sticker. Look at that. Okay, that art is really, really cool. I love it. That's what was on the front of this thing. So I bet that artist, I don't know how to say their name, T-A-O, but I think they drew this and they included the mascot from the box, Luna. That's really cute. I like that it was like exclusive art, you know? And I love the little neon signs in the background. So cute. There's so much detail in every nook and cranny. I think it's really, really cool. Oh, and here's more. Okay, it's like sort of the same scene, but a new angle. But again, like the background has all these elements that are so detailed. Like, that's so cool. And there's Luna again. <laughs> this artist really likes drawing like neon lights and stuff. And it's a postcard. Nice. All right, I think we're in the final item here and it is more stickers. Looks like more food. How cute. I love it. <gasps> Steak. One personal favorite of mine. Oh, you can like use it in, I mean, not specifically this book, but you know, books with graphs. <laughs> Graph paper. All right. So that's everything in the box. I'm feeling very inspired and not necessarily by the items in the box, but by the artists. There goes the corn puff. One second. But <laughs> I'm very inspired by this art specifically right here. And I would love to try and like create something of my own like that. So what is this? <laughs> what is this flavor? Okay, it did not mention the corn puff. How much snow flavor this is. I mean, I guess I could open it up. Maybe I will, maybe I will. Oh my gosh, it's like orange. It looks spicy. Okay, it smells like a Dorito. Actually, it smells like pizza goldfish. As long as it's not fish flavor. Of the Japanese snacks that I have tried, a large percentage of them were fish flavored for whatever reason, and I do not have a preference for fish flavored things. Oh my God, it's all in it, so it's gonna be really crunchy. There's no fish eyeballs. I think we're safe. Okay. I have no idea what flavor that is. It's definitely a little spicy though. It's got a little pizza, a little marinara, tomato-y flavor. Watch me be completely wrong, but I don't know. How do I look this up? I found a um, spicy mentai. What is mentai? Ooh, this is apparently a very popular flavor. It's one of the best and most loved flavors. <laughs> However, it seems many overseas people may be wondering, what is mentai flavor? Yes, yes I am, actually. It's fish. <laughs> Marinated in a red chili pepper. Savory, slightly spicy, and very yummy. Yes, it was good. It's fish. It's fish. <laughs> anyway, it's time to draw something. I feel like I said this already, but I think where I'd like to go with this is draw some of these scenes. But yes, I would like to draw something kind of like this. Take some inspo. I also kind of want to... Should we try and draw like neons? I'm not sure how you would do that traditionally, but we can try. Basically, it's like a light version of a color, with a darker version outlining it, and then that color reflecting on the things around it. So I'm not sure if you'd be able to do it without a background, but we can try first. The best way to start though is by drawing. Just start by drawing and kind of get a feel for maybe what I want. <laughs> it would be cool to include some kind of food. I feel like I've seen bricks that kind of look like this, like on a building. Okay, so I think it definitely needs to be some kind of like restaurant scene since we have so much food around here. Something with food. Maybe a bench. Fake in the perspective for now to just kind of get an idea. Thinking like a booth at a restaurant. I gotta try and incorporate like as many details as possible. And lots of signs. That's another thing, like neon signs. Oh, we could have like one of those menus. That's like a sign with the ketchups and the mustards. I probably should include a character. Oh, a lot of the time they have like a, a pet, usually a cat. I'm thinking if there's a wall here, we can put, you know how diners have like photos of things? <laughs> You know? <laughs> and in the background, we'd probably have that like bar, with those stools, and maybe some people at them. And maybe a doorway here to like the bathrooms. Oh, that's a sign, a bathroom sign. Shade it to kind of push it backwards. Which eraser do we use? I don't like using new erasers because it's like, I don't know, tainting it. I feel to see the floor under there depending on what's visible. This is my brick. Does this look like brick? Maybe some siding. 
That's an idea. What I think I might like to do is grab this because I have pink lead in it and sort of draw this same thing, but maybe a bit bigger. And then kind of play around with like blocking out the colors. Should I worry more about the perspective this time? I kind of see the top of the table. Like we're looking down at it. So we'd see more like this. Let's see the top of the bench. Use this. We have a ruler here after all. I'm not sure where I'll put the perspective line here. Just draw it right on the table. <laughs> this is our horizon line. <laughs> Excuse me while I just try and figure this out. Ugh, my fingers always get in the way. This ruler's too skinny. Look at that line. Bloop, bloop. Horizon line again. It's all right. All right, got a bunch of grids. Throw in our booth. So I'll just connect some of these lines. There's the top of our booth, our table. And then I guess if you're sitting, this would go a little higher, almost to the horizon line. So you'll still see the top of this stuff. Messed up already. <laughs> it's a little confusing. This is like the side of the booth. And I wanted a wall back here with some signage. You know what? I might extend this over here. Since there's so much drawn there, it'll be a clock. Can round out some of these shapes maybe. Here's my sign ready. Eat good food. <laughs> but I want like one of those little signs that like stick out of the thingy. And there's a big weight on the bottom so that it stays up. And it's got like the specials. Where do I put a neon sign? I guess back here would be a good place for the neon sign. Maybe instead of the clock, what do we want the neon sign to be? A piece of pizza. Ooh, pepperoni and a mushroom. Pizza, pizza. What else am I doing here? Why else do I exist? You put like a purse or something. That looks more like a backpack. <laughs> Maybe it's a backpack. Obviously need some ketchup. All those fancy glass bottles. Maybe a plate of some kind with actual food on it. And then maybe a character more interested in who they're eating with than what they're eating. <gasps> What a strange person. <laughs> kind of don't want to put a person in this. It's getting in the way. I can't see what's behind here. All right, do I want the person? I mean, the composition's a little <laughs> whack. I know that. I just trying to decide if I actually want to draw a person. Maybe if I just draw the person better, I'll be more interested. <laughs> okay, okay. Do need a better eraser. Sorry, you're getting used. Here we go. Hopefully you work better. I need it to be just a bit more erased. We steal the outfit from this character. Sometimes I like to do that. A little hair tie, bangs, a barb. There's your dress. Dreamily looking at the person across the booth. Mm -hmm. I do want to like blop in some colors. I want to have an extremely limited color palette so that I don't get too crazy. I'm kind of thinking similar to the last time I did sort of a background from a Zen Pop where it was like pinks and purples. See, this is too complicated for me. I will mess that up. Or maybe just all purple. So we have like a light purple, a dark purple. And maybe something pinker just for a change of variation. And then we'll add like a line art on top maybe to like figure that out. I want all light colors around this like it's glowing. Do I have a lighter purple? One second. Too blue. I want it like a pinker. Too light. I don't even see it. You know what? Let's go with the pink. It's called pink. By a who. <laughs> I'm going to color all around this and see if I can like imitate that neon idea. And like it's gonna reflect on surfaces nearby. Then I need the darkest one. I'm gonna use the chisel so I can get that little point. And then I'm gonna draw out the piece of pizza. Then I want Oscar pen. Needs to be more pink. And the, her back will be lit up by the neon sign. And the top of this table. I'm trying to make it look like it's glowing. Get that into the purple. You can use this for like shading too on the opposite side of things. You know, blend it out. You can even use the even darker one for more shadow. Blend that out. See, this is why I limited the color palette because I'm already confused. Anything under this won't really be getting any light, so we could probably go with our darkest color for a little shadow under there. Might need like another mid tone, something a little darker. Playing around with the colors. It's starting to look a little like something. Use the pinker color for the skin, I guess. Just to kind of give that some variation. We'll use the darkest color for the hair for some contrast there. Okay, my bob flips out. I apologize for not sticking to the reference material. Fill this back here. 
put this. I think we'll color it in this color. Or I could do, instead of white dots, use dark dots. Lots and lots of dots. We're getting a little random. A little hospital gowny. Why does that look cute? Other girls when they dress fashionably. Me. <laughs> Need the ketchup. Actually, do I have a redder? Ceiling. I'm just gonna grab my purple pen. Hopefully it's dark enough to go on top of this stuff. And I'm just gonna go over the lines just to make it more obvious what we're looking at. And then maybe a little Posca pen if the case arises or the need arises. Now I'm here. Shoulders, I'm not sure what happened. I think I realize that needs to come in a little bit. Ketchup bottle. Yeah. Well, I think I've established I'm definitely not as detailed an artist. Now, I also should keep in mind this drawing is probably significantly larger than was printed smaller, which makes it a little bit easier. But that's just an excuse. And let me have it. There's the menu. This is an arm back here. Backpack. This would be like those ceiling tile things. Some of them would have been lights. Is it too late to like make one pinker than the others? I don't know. More pictures. Food. Coffee makers. It's got a background. It's got a character. It's got color. It's got a neon light, sort of. Maybe a little more Posca, but like only in some places. I was able to do a pretty good neon digitally once, but use a lot of like layer styles and effects that uh, you can't really do here. Kind of like it. Definitely not my uh, my usual, which I think is what I really like about it. It's got me excited to do it again. Which is usually a good thing. It usually means I'm having fun. I really like the color scheme. It's like a warm dark and a cool dark and a warm light and a cool light. Almost like the warmer red is like for darker things, whereas the cool... No. What did I say? The warmer dark is for like things that are just darker, whereas the cooler dark is for shadows. Neon. Neon sign. We could just draw, try and draw a neon sign. <laughs> Keep being distracted. Okay, I had a plan. Draw a neon. All right, neon, neon. Why don't we just try and replicate one? Let's do this like cherry blossom looking thing. So it's like hearts kind of. Actually, we just do a heart. Let's keep it really simple. Big heart. So if we have a big heart, now you want to have the where it disconnects kind of. Kind of like that. And then there's like a little wire. So we would fill this in with our lightest pink. Then around it, we'd have a slightly darker pink. This is like the light being cast all around. Bear with me, let's try something. <laughs> kind of fade it out from the neon. Maybe blend these colors together. Make it a little bit smoother of a transition. All right, then I need a dark, dark, dark version and draw in the edges of the neon. Can't really see it. Ooh. We have our wire. Now it needs to be way darker around it, I think. Gild it up, but not on the inside. And then it has to get like really dark really quickly, I think. Ooh, there we go, nice and smooth. Okay, and then from that, let's go like that gray desaturated color. So it's like getting darker, you know? Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just throwing colors. Just getting it closer and closer, basically. It'll look like a neon. We could grab a Posca pen and brighten this up again. And then when that dries, go over it. It really does not look like a neon to me. Drawing neons with markers. Clearly not that easy. I'm just gonna clean up the edges of this because it's ugly. This isn't actually making it better. Hm. You know what might make it kind of cooler? So if I had ooh, maybe this forest green and went around it. Eh, just wanted something like thinner, you know? Give it some brick texture. This little wall texture, some like dots and whatnot. <laughs> there we go. Just give it a little extra pop so it doesn't look like a random experiment like it was. Hmm, I'm not sure where else to go with this. Kind of just want to draw this character for a second though. <laughs> There's my cat. There you go. I'm not sure what else to go with this. I feel like I've kind of... Where's all that excitement I had when I drew this? <laughs> Maybe I'm getting a little tired. I'm trying to do the bob. So the more rotated in bob, the, the outward bob. <laughs> oh, I like the little socks with the ballet flats. That's cute. 
the hair it's messing me up i cannot figure out what that's supposed to look like we're starting over let's change the angle maybe that'll give me a new perspective this side would curl this way oh this looks nice little hair clip Ooh, that's kind of cute. All right, good character. Not entirely sure. I think I'm just about done for now, but I don't know. My hand just keeps drawing, so we'll see what happens. I just kind of want to draw this style, I guess. Little flats with socks. Shading. A little tone to the hair. I see why people draw in these sort of styles. Super exaggerated shapes. I love it. I kind of wish, though, that... I had a plan because I'm just doodling at this point. I want to draw her in a super ch my chibi style. I've never drawn anything in this style. What am I talking about? That doesn't look like mine. These heads are kind of like this big and then the bodies are like kind of small like this. Then there's long legs and then like big hands and big feet. Although when you wear a dress, you don't really see much exaggerated torso proportion. We'll try it. Little tone. Always makes things more interesting. Look at that. Watch it pop. Little shadow. Little shadow. Crew sock with a flat. Little blush. Maybe a little highlight. The eyeball. Make it look a little less dead. I'll grab that sticker. <laughs> and I really like this little uh, cola. So it's coming in here too. What's this? You know what I'll do? I'll probably end up drawing in here, but for now, I want to use this glue stick and uh, glue it in here. And then I'll be able to use the sticker later if I so choose. How adhesive is it? Not bad. Oh, I also have this. I could put this in. Oh, wait. French fry sticker. Excuse me. Coming in here too. Boop. All right. I think that's going to be it for the day. Definitely not as detailed as the featured artist, but more detailed than I would, I feel like, usually do in such a small sketch. And I like the way the background, like there's still things going on in the background without it being overwhelming. And I kind of like, I don't know, I kind of like it. I do want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I opened up the uh, September Zen Pop box. I had a lot of fun with it and I'm excited. What am I excited for? I don't know. I've been really enjoying praying with backgrounds. A couple months ago, I was like, yeah, I want to get better backgrounds, but I'm just not having as much fun with it. But like, I would do it in little tiny bite-sized pieces. And then now I'm getting to the point where I'm like experimenting a little bit more. So it's getting a little bit more exciting. And I'm not, I'm still not pushing myself too hard to the point where it tortures me. But I'm like working my way into it slowly and just, you know, having fun and enjoying the process. I'm, I'm excited. So that, yeah, there it is. I figured out why I was excited. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!